Hey guys, Grumpy Gunsmith back again. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, nails for the butt plates on trade guns. I've had some questions about that and uh, uh, when I sell a kit, of course it comes with a, if you want to call it that, an instruction sheets that kind of show you the, the more difficult steps in making one of these trade guns uh, and putting one together. But uh, the nails you can buy from me, uh, I think Track of the Wolf carries them a couple of places too. Uh, they're modern made cut nails basically and we're going to change those into 18th century style heads by just a simple few seconds worth of hammering. So let me get set up and I'll show you how we do that very quickly and very simply and it's a way you can do it yourself at home without any special tools. Alright, hang on. Alright, so I got three different types of nails here that uh, I commonly use and these are commercially purchased but they're not exactly what I want for 18th century these are cut nail styles more from the 19th century but they're easily adaptable by just a simple bit of hammer work uh, what we've got here is a little sprig it's just a headless brad basically and that one actually was fairly common uh, tail end of the 18th century used a lot in finish and trim work box making small box making uh, then we've got uh, the clout nail here um, that uh, it's got a little thicker head and it's got a nice rounded top on it so it's it makes for a very useful one too and this is your sort of what we think of as a cut nail today uh, bellowed shank here and just a flat hammered out head on it and I, I don't do much with these if I do use them uh, I might put them on the sander real quick or a grinder and just take the edges down to a little bit of a feather edge is all. But what I want to show you is how we can turn, say like this uh, small uh, sprig here into something for nailing on uh, butt plates. All we're going to do is hammer out the head and produce a little bit broader head and hammer it so that it's got a sort of a domed effect to it and you can do the same thing uh, with your clout nails uh, got one here somewhere here's one that's been hammered out so it's got more of a domed head on it you know centered it's so it's pyramidal shape if that's a word but you can change these very quickly and they'll look pretty good I like using the little sprigs myself for most of my work because it's got enough of a head to hold on the butt plate and or the uh, using for the wrist inlays too and they're, they're going to sit more flush basically so they're not catching on clothing and whatnot these uh, when they're hammered out have a little bit of a, a thicker edge still work okay and you can actually hammer it down a little thinner if you want to and uh, I'll show you how to make these two different types uh, using these two nails here that I start with. Alright, so um, let me get set up for that and we'll get back to uh, doing some little hammering. Alright, take care. So we'll start off with uh, one of the sprigs here. And all I do with these is the little shoulders on each side I set into the vise, making sure the shaft is straight up and down. Clamp it good. Give it a few blows to set it and then work the edges. And if you're not very good with a hammer or your hammer is too big, you can use a punch to do sort of the same thing. Work all four sides. I give it a slight tap to get rid of that peak. And what you end up with is basically a little pyramid shape. 
on top. And when you put these in, the square nails uh, are much better than round ones because now you've got the corners that create even more grip uh, than a round nail will. So these will hold better um, than a round nail would. And they look pretty good and, and you can see it just took a few seconds to do. Now to do the uh, other nails that I've got here, you can see the rounded head on here and we can get a nice pyramid shape on it as well. But to do that I use a plate that I've drilled an eighth of an inch hole in just big enough for the shank to go down into and set it in a vise but you don't have to clamp it you just want to let it sit in there hammer it down good and tight and begin working the corners again drawing it out into that pyramid shape These have a lot more meat. I'm going to go ahead and clamp down a little bit lightly and then use the punch again just to try and get those edges nice and sharp on the bottom. see we've got a nice pyramid shape again and the corners or the edges are a little thick but that's okay I mean you can use the punch a little more draw it out even further but having a slightly rounded edge is okay when you use it in the butt plate that way it won't catch on things quite as much so that's pretty much it you can use the sprigs or the, the uh, clout nails and make nice 18th century style heads on these for your trade gun. So that's how we make the hand forged nails for these trade gun kits and uh, they'll look pretty good when you get them on there and if you want to blue them just hold them over a propane torch until they turn nice and blue and then dip them in a little oil and it will give them a nice dark blue color if you want to do that before you drive them in. They're going to wear in time uh, through use so I just kind of leave them natural but that's up to you again. So until next time take care stay safe.